Commercial and recreational fishing make up a large part of Nantucket Sound's economy and our way of life on the Cape and Islands. On a very cold day near the Chatham Fish Pier, Mark Weissman, who is a member of the Massachusetts Fisheries Advisory Commission, explained the risks that fishing is facing. The fishermen are opposed to having an industrial power plant in Nantucket Sound. The Massachusetts Fishing Partnership, Fishermen's Partnership, which is an umbrella organization that encompasses all of the commercial fishing interests in the region, is on record as saying they're afraid of losing fish productivity, of losing jobs, and of losing access to the area. The state and federal fisheries scientists and managers are also greatly alarmed. This is a very important body of water for fish that migrate up and down the East Coast. The area is considered essential fish habitat for 18 important species of fish, including striped bass, bluefish, scup, black sea bass, and squid. According to the council, uh, Horseshoe Shoal area would become a kind of a marine minefield with 130 obstacles there to uh, snag uh, trawled fishing nets and uh, cause boating accidents. Recreational fishermen uh, who use this area, it's, it's extremely popular with recreational fishermen, most of them aren't used to handling boats in the kinds of strong currents that would swirl around turbine bases. So there's a high likelihood, it's felt, of collisions with the bases and uh, with, between the boats. And if you have an accident, uh, there may be a problem with Coast Guard uh, rescue helicopters getting in uh, inside of the uh, footprint of uh, the wind turbine. This is a massive construction project that they have in mind, covering 24 square miles, 130 turbines, there'd be work boats drilling them into the ground, they'd build a 10-story transformation station, there'd be more than 100 miles of cable that they'd have to plow into the ground, uh, significant parts of the, uh, of the shoal are very shallow, would have to be dredged just so they can get the work boats in. All of this noise, vibration, uh, stirred up sediment would drive away fish that could swim. It would end up reducing their uh, spawning and uh, feeding opportunities. For fish eggs or juvenile fish that couldn't get out of the way, they'd be killed, there'd be high mortality, and large areas of the bottom uh, would be covered with uh, the sand and silt and uh, be great mortality of benthic organisms. Overall, loss of fisheries production is certain. Uh, the extent and timing of recovery is unknown.